the Fomorians are returning. The banished monsters and demigods from the ancient age of Avalon are wreaking havoc among our settlements. This must be connected to Arthur's last shard somehow. Refugees are talking about a mysterious knight leading the otherworldly armies. I must find this knight. He certainly knows about the fragment. The Beast Master. It's a level 16 uh, main mission. We're trying something a little different. Uh, instead of taking out a champion, we're going to take out two defenders. And uh, that'll be, I think, interesting as an experiment. Mordred's coming out with the Rotten Sigil to apply poison. Uh, he's got the two reflection tokens here as well. And then I've given him the Storm Rider rune, so he gets the benefit of killing with lightning. And then if that happens, somebody else uh, takes weapon damage. He also has the culling, which is nice. Does take a small reduction in AP. Uh, overall, he's got 20 armor with this. If we look at the Red Knight, he's got 17 armor, even though he's got the heavier armor set. But he's going to regain armor at the start of each encounter. I've given him the chance to deal double damage here. And then he's wearing this steel-plated amulet of sturdiness, so it ignores 25% of incoming attacks, armor breaking value, less damage from ranged attacks, and unbreakable while in duel. And then I've given him this reflection token for uh, five damage, a little bit of block, and a little bit of extra HP for uh, recuperate. They both have a large armor potion and a healing potion, so they should be set. Uh, Merlin's build is pretty standard now, so the sign of Lear for the light armor. The Firebrand rune for all of the burning. And then we've got the uh, Culling and Summoning of the Lost. Extra burning damage here. Very happy, very happy. Tristan, uh, he's coming in with the Sign of the Swallow. This has been super, super good for us. The Rune of the Winged Axe, also nice. Although the damage at some point will fall off. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen until we get really lucky with a drop or... or a, a, Relic showing up. The Grey Wolf Pendant, this has been standard here for quite a while, uh, allowing us to mow down those back lines by, and keep moving. And then I'm switching this one. I want to give this a try. So the previous one we've been using was the Vanguard Spyglass, where it ignores four armor, we have 21 health, and we get extra backstab damage. This one, the Skullduggery, we get 31 health, uh, seven armor piercing, so more than the previous one. And it's trading backstab attacks for surprise attacks. Now, I get way more just natural backstabs, obviously, than surprises. Uh, but I'm hoping that with that armor piercing, that it kind of makes up for that, depending on the enemy we're hitting. And then we also get the benefit of gaining AP when we start hidden, um, which I think he's already getting. Yeah, so he's getting like plus two AP if he's hidden now. And his AP cost to go into hiding is only one, which is kind of insane. Uh, so I'm very excited to see how this goes. Very excited to see the Fomorians as well. I'm just excited, okay? I'm just excited about things. That's it. I'm excited about things. When you guys are watching this, this will be on... What day? Friday? And I'll be in California. Why, you ask? Can't tell you. It's just a big, super top secret, you guys. Super top secret. But soon. Soon. Soon you will know. Soon you will know. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? Well, we got to find the unknown knight. Ah, I see something here. <laughs> oh, you do? The giant uh, battlefield with uh, dead people everywhere? Some pretty baubles. You there. Please. Is this the knight? It hurts so no, much. he's just a basic guard. Can you help me? Please. What happened here? Look at the horse. Holy smokes. They attacked us. Horrible, twisted animals <laughs> like giant boars. We're fast. Oh, no. We had no chance. Am I dying? You're bleeding out slowly. I have a healing potion, but do you want me to just make it quick? No. Please, don't. Oh! We- Oh! <laughs> okay. I- Okay. He said no, so I thought maybe it would be enough for us to simply 
suggest it. But nope, he dead. Oh, cool. Okay. Fomorians, what we've seen in the past, are like giant beasts. Those Fomorian beasts are my Avalon again. Oh, this is exciting. Okay. This is cool. So what's their deal? They have a pretty decent health pool. All right. So three wargs, they're knockdown immune. Jumping attack. Jumps in front of the target and attacks, dealing massive damage. And then they have a howl to heal uh, vitality. That's kind of cool. Some of them are on cooldown, some of them are not. I'm actually surprised that there's not a unit that has some type of um, uh, backstab, like, immunity or something like that, you know? I think that would be kind of cool. I could be of some help, I suppose. All right, Mordred. Uh, let's start hitting... I think we might be able to clear these guys in one turn. I'm just gonna kind of weaken some. Oh, okay. Yeah, I gotta be careful there. Awaiting your command. So I'm gonna flame these ones, I guess. Well, that's not as strong as I was I could be hoping it would help, be. I suppose. I wonder if I should teleport first. So I'm hidden. I don't know if we'll call here. It's gonna be close. Doesn't matter, they're dead anyway. I am here to serve. This guy is full stun. I could so we can come here. Help, I suppose. I'll just throw a bunch of stuff on him. Ready. Knock down immune, doesn't matter. I can also kick for some damage. Oh, we got the double there. Gross. Goodbye, little warglings. Oh. Okay, we're not done. This is like a new thing they've been doing recently. Where, uh, they're bringing in reinforcements. God. Okay, so this guy will die. I'm gonna get over there. Probably just need one of these. Kneel before your king. Now he's knocked down immune, which means I go in there. But he's not knocked back immune. Is this knock back? No, it's straight up knocked down. Ready. I am uh, here to serve. If I come in here, I have to do an attack, and then he's gonna hit me, so I'm just gonna make him go for this guy. For my Camelot. Sure, tank up. You can tank up as well. They're not done yet. So he's doing, he's getting 13 What's it gonna be? poison damage. Now these guys are not in a line. But we'll definitely mess with them where we can. 
actually. Uh, interesting. I don't think I'm going to knock into here. I think it's going to go back this way. I was wrong. Doesn't matter because I can't really follow up on it, but still. I am ready. I think we'll just continue here. <laughs> the sounds they make when they For die. Camelot. Okay, we're one short there. Stunned. Maybe goes there. What are we waiting for? Actually, we could do this. We'll probably take him into death range. This guy probably attacks here. Let's actually just weaken this guy a tad. Hold, hold, hold. Make up your mind. Nice. Glory. <laughs> They're little noises. Oh, poor, poor little war geese. Poor little war geese. Nobody cares about the little war geese. We probably. Oh, I can't get there. Awaiting your command. I don't have a backstab opportunity, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Go, Tristan, go. Okay. So they're coming out of the woods, the wargs. Thanks to the gods you are here. How I respect Camelot. I wish I could hug every single knight of the round table. Uh, I'd rather you don't. Who are you? Of course. I am Seminus, the richest trader in Avalon. Right. Those demons right. wrecked my camp and killed most of my men. But finally, you are here. How'd you survive? I ran away. Then I hid in a nearby cottage. Are you here to save the village? There are survivors there. Use that road. We came for the knight who's leading these beasts. Have you met him? I haven't, fortunately. But I've heard that he's half man, half demon. Oh, I excellent. I have no idea where yeah, he is cool. now, and I don't wish to know. Do you know anyone who might have met him? The local druid met him at that ugly monument. There is a mysterious statue in the forest. Huh. I've heard that it just appeared overnight. That sounds weird. We should take a look. May the gods be with you then. Take the other pathway. May I ask you one more favor? <laughs> Make it short. My brother Felix fled to the south with some guards. I would be forever grateful if you could find him for me. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Good luck, Knights of Camelot. Good luck. All right. Villagers, statue, druid. I guess we'll go here. I defeated the Fomorians once, but I paid a terrible price. How did they find their way back to Avalon? You know what would be cool in this game? If there was um, some elevation that you could kind of work with. And then have, uh, you know, bonuses for range people or something. That would be neat. Might make it tedious in some aspects. What's going on? This is going to be some type of sketch. Knights! The knights are here! We are saved! Don't get too excited. Now, the demons are back again! Okay, yeah, see, that's like, when I heard from Orions, that's kind of what I was expecting. Gods, what is that? We will all die. That is extremely possible. He's a slaughterer. So he's got strike, he's got axe throwing that does bleeding. He's got the double throw for knockdown and the thrown hammer for stuns. And then a bunch of wargs. Now, it would be sick 
If I could hit all of these guys with uh, Do you need any with Merlin's or... deal, but I can't. But I am definitely going to hit these ones. Uh, hold on again. Okay, so let me look at this once and for all. So this is going to take him down to 249. Okay. Ready. Um, you think I can't fight? I should probably Time make him vulnerable first if I can. This is not going to apply vulnerable. It will stun though. It's only got 30% debuff. Okay, we can do that after. Uh, so this would take him to 249. If I teleport. And do it now. Yeah, 223. So it, it does benefit. It does benefit. Kneel before your king. Now these guys, he's got jumping and howl. So can they jump over this? I'm gonna say probably yes. Uh, how do we want to play this? Yeah, I can jump over it, so. <laughs> if I just do this, do you need any wise words? It's not really gonna help me get out of there, unfortunately. Problem is, too, like, if I want to try and save as many of these villagers, blacksmith, hunter, so he'll probably attack. <laughs> for, no, like, for nothing. You think I can't fight? Okay. Let's go here for now. He might have enough burn damage. Okay, not quite. 52. But... He doesn't even have the 50% mental debuff. I'm gonna put it on him. Ready. Then, if I taunted, I can only taunt one of these guys. Ready to fight. He's gonna die. Tristan might take a little bit of damage here. None can stand in my way. This guy probably axe throws here, I think. But these are full cover, so maybe he can't. I could stun out this warg, which would help Tristan. I could stun out this guy or this guy to help these villagers. Let's help Tristan. He's more important to me. And then I kind of want to position the Red Knight here to be a guard almost. Let's go recuperate. Face this way. Hold that. Hold. Let's see what happens. Oh, he did die. It's not that much damage. Excellent. It's all going according to plan. We might save all of these guys, actually. If this dude doesn't... <laughs> you... I am ready. You idoite. Okay, well, I guess this is all Tristan here. What are we waiting for? He's already vulnerable. Let me put the vulnerability here. Your heart. 14. You're kidding me, bro. Okay. Could be of some help, I suppose. Now, 
How can I kill this dude? I can't quite yet. Let me summon this up here. Then... <laughs> it's very tempting. Because I could come in here. That's going to put this on cooldown. How many do I have here? So, this will cost me the yellow. Then I'll have seven. Then I could cast the Mind Fog for two. Then I'll have five. And then these will still be on cooldown. Actually, will they? Because one... These will reduce to one. Oh, I might have it, actually. I might have it. Another burn sesh. Let's go here. And then I gotta take this, unfortunately. This guy's alive, which sucks. Just because I, I can't risk... Well, oh, hold on. Yeah. He might still hit this blacksmith. I don't know if I have a way of what? dealing with that. Actually, I'm going to taunt the Slaughterer. And I could use this to knock him back. Oh, I can actually just kick him. A little bit of weird movement damage. Got the double. Kneel before your king. Then I'm gonna see if a charge here. Not quite. I'm gonna position like this. I don't even know if he'll be able to get there. He does have the throws. Awaiting your command. And then I kind of hope this war goes for Merlin. I'm just, I'm trying to save all the villagers. So let's see. Hey, he's dead next turn. Okay, well, that worked. This dude's gonna die. Make up your mind. Put them Powered glory. Oh, he's stunned. Great. Ready to fight. Org is also stunned. Let's see if I could help. New plan. There we go. And then let's just finish them. See ya. That was clean, baby. Thank you for saving me. You're welcome. I live to save. He says after slaughtering the guy at the start. That's not the brother, though. Old brother's not here. Um, I don't think we need to use this right now. So where would the brother be? This is suspiciously far off, isn't it? Statue or druid first? I might not have a choice. I'm stuck. I'll see if I can skirt the statue and go straight to the druid. Seems like I can. Just feel like the statue's gonna trigger.
trigger something. That's what my gut tells me. Oh boy. The name of, all the gods. of course it's crazy. Oh, that's a relic chest, baby. Are you the Knights of Camelot? The gods must have sent you. Oh yeah, the gods totally did that. Yeah, totally. Look out! They're behind you. Oh boy. Oh, sick. Okay, yeah. So we're getting some new stuff. This is great. Although it's a little intimidating. Okay, a taint hog. <laughs> so he does a push, causing knockdown in an area. He charges, dealing damage and knockdown. Can't be dodged. And then he's got the strike. I'm not going to be able to kill all these guys in one turn here. I can stun him out, though. It looks like that's going to be decent. Then I could probably uh, charm the Slaughterer to hit him. I can burn this group, I think. What's it going to be? Yep. That's cool. And then uh, I could probably, like, clean up some of these units. With Tristan, what? and the Red Knight can just like slam stuff. None can stand in my way. Mm, so none of these Fomorians have armor. I do like that. I'm tempted to put the stigma here to get the increased damage. You must be really desperate. Let's do the. Uh, Let's do the teleport. Because he'll probably be dead from this. Yep, that works. Just took casual hundy. Slaughterer here. I am here to serve. Now, if I do one more, he will die on the next turn. And then I'll still have three. And I only need one to hide now. <laughs> it's just too nasty. It's too nasty. He's burning for 52. I wonder if I can get the range. I bet I can. Little dude's gonna be in the way. Come on. So he's also dead. This guy's stunned. This guy's gonna hit this guy. You're gonna hold. Hold. He doesn't really hit that hard. We've established that a couple times now. That's fine. That's what your armor's for. Okay, but what do you want? Now what? So we're gonna give them some targets. I feel like. Maybe we put this here. And then I can do another fire cast. But do I have any I don't have any more stigmas. Make up your mind. Okay, so now he'll get some burning going. And then we should have surprise damage here. One more. That doesn't let me hide, unfortunately. Uh, now I could go for the kill here, that I could. I could do that. I kind of want to taunt the Slaughterer. Because he's pretty far. This will take him down to 63, which would make him die. But 
Let's see how it goes. I don't know if I should have taunted, because there's still this illusion here, but... I probably could have done that in a lot cleaner fashion. That's fine. These guys are relatively... Awaiting your command. ...easy to deal with. God, just save some for the rest of us, dude. You saved me. I wish I could help you in return, but I don't know much. I'll try to answer your questions, though. I heard you might have met the knight who commanded these beasts. Yes, I saw him. This horror began with the statue and the mysterious knight who appeared there. He called the beasts in the pits there. Tell me more about the statue. It was an ordinary standing stone where I used to pray every day. One morning, I saw that a strange statue had replaced it. It was transformed. Okay. The knight called the beasts. How? He started chanting in a strange language, and the fog rose around him, dark and dense. The beasts walked out of the mists, like it was a gate. Do you know where the monsters are coming from? You'll think me mad. I am afraid that they are the ancients of Avalon who were banished to the void. The servants of the dark god Balor. Lomorians. Cool. Did the Picts obey that night? They serve and worship him as if he were a demigod. They call him... The Harbinger. And is he a demigod? I am afraid he is. The Harbinger of the Dark God. The return of true darkness to Avalon. I am worried. And where is the knight now? I saw him walking out of the statue. But he must have left these woods by now. The Picts were talking about a gathering where that knight would open up the passage for their Dark God. Okay. So where will that gathering take place? I don't know. I need to ask around. Talk to the other druids. I'll send you a message as soon as I know more. What does the knight look like? He is terrible and majestic. His helmet is shaped like a crown. His face is half man, half beast. Look at the statue. That's him. Yeah, but that knight's King Arthur. We must stop him. May the gods guard Sick. your steps. I'd rather return to my cave until the beasts are gone. That's victory? Ooh. Okay. Well, interesting. We still have some stuff to do here. Oh. If that's better than the fire one, I swear to God, I'll be shocked. Protection. Let's use it on Mordred. Let's go visit the statue now. Whoa. <laughs> you see that guy? What the frick? That's nuts. Oh, oh we're just running in there now. Fair enough. This place is tainted by dark magic. I can almost taste its bitter cruelty. Yeah, I could taste something. So these dudes do have armor. Beast man. Cleave, stomp. He has a, oh, he has a vulnerable. I thought that was going to be a taunt. He has a, he hits pretty hard. Debuff and stuff is not bad. Slaughterer we've dealt with. And a shield breaker. He has shield bash. <laughs> I love how there's just some icons that are reused that just do completely different things. Deals damage in area of two by six. Okay. 
So we could stun out pretty well here. Unfortunately, I can't do both. So we're gonna do this. Stigma here. I'm curious to see if Merlin can reach this. I think we can. Oh God, it's just disgusting. And with this guy's stigma, he's gonna take even more damage. Uh, cover doesn't really matter. Burn, baby, burn. Okay. Then, he's stunned. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get him, even if I move one. I could get him, which doesn't really help me. So maybe it'd be better for me to summon up this instead. So I can still get my cooldowns going. I feel like we can kill this guy with Tristan now. I am ready. Yeah. This guy's got a lot of armor, man. He's got some piercing, but that's that's significant. Who are we going to focus next is the question. I do feel like this guy is going to be blocked, yeah. You're gonna hold that. Time to feed the ravens. I may want to try and toss something down Your there. Highness. Let's just do this. What are we waiting for? Chunk down some of the armor there. Alright. Ooh. Almost hit us by accident. I could help. Quite the feisty fella. Okay, so 35 resist. This guy's got 30. I am one short there. So I'm feeling like... Your Highness. I'm feeling like we should hit him with this chill or with the mind fog so he's gonna go for this beast man What's assuming we don't kill him for? which we probably won't fight. actually we could even just use the illusion Keep him busy. I'll teleport way out here. That's gonna be all I can do. Ready. Coming in hot. Now we recuperate. For my Camelot. Recuperate. I have an attack here, it's just... Why don't we do this? Let's taunt. So just to reduce his AP. So he's down to six. I'm gonna make him come to me. 
make him work. Totally cool, totally cool. I am ready. Do you need any wise words? Okay, so this guy's burning 52 for three turns. They have, I can't knock them around at all, so I might as well just throw this down. Get him burning. Throw up another one of those. Awaiting your command. This takes him into kill range. How useful that is going to be. Maybe should have thought that through. What's it going to be? Oh, wait a sec. I should have. I did this wrong. <laughs> Definitely did this wrong. Stigma. Okay, he's dead now too. That's that's perfect. I did this exactly the way I intended. You can just kill him. What do you want? I'm just casting my spells for practice, you know? Ha! <laughs> He's got the calling. Oh my god. That's so funny. Only a few have the power to reshape the land of Avalon. Like molding stones into a statue. Arthur was one of them. The once and future king came here with the gift, but he cool. was never able to use it for good. Yeah, that that we've picked up on. Thanks for clarifying. Statue of King Arthur. Avalon's an island of ancient magic, godly creation, and eternal youth, a land where reality is malleable like soft clay. In the ages since Avalon's birth, there has been only a handful of powerful individuals who had the strength to force their will on this mystical island. The Lady of the Lake being only one of them. Maybe Arthur, the once and future king, was also destined to wield power over Avalon even after his death. Okay. So we need to head down here. He's probably back by that campfire. That brother. Oh, I hear shinies. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, line up my pets. Line up. One, I don't think I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. You think I can't fight? Kneel before your king. We'll go vulnerable there. Stun. So close, eh? Wait a sec. Wait. For my Wait. Wait. Maybe. Is there a way I could like? Before your king. Powered glory. I could knock this guy. Oh, does he get knocked back? He gets knocked back diagonally. Now I won't be able to get him into like this slot. I am here to serve. Okay. If he occupies two tiles, does he take two tiles worth of damage? That'd be cool. So we're gonna try and keep some of these guys occupied. He's gonna have to attack a closer unit. For my Camelot, none can stand in my way. If I put it on this warg, uh, he'll die from the burn. So that's at least something. Awaiting your command. I 
I can come over here and do an attack, but I think I'm just going to hide. Hide and hold. I haven't been using his traps very much here. Now these guys could definitely come in and attack. Time to feed the ravens. So we'll do this. And maybe I'll even taunt one. Just to reduce his AP. If he hits us, then fine. That dude didn't even move. Awaiting your command. That's fine. Okay. What's it gonna be? So now I can probably just keep this guy busy with decoys and such. And I'll be able to cast fire here. Um, before your king. Let's weaken them a bit. Let me cut you to and then I can probably call, but I don't want to knock them back. Woo! Got the double damage. Okay, well, they're definitely going to die. Do you want from me? The question is... I guess I need to mind fog something. Might as well mind fog here. So that he is forced to attack that illusion. And then we'll do like so. These guys will be dead. I can come over here for one attack, but then I'm standing there. Let's do this. Do you want now, he could go for Merlin, which would be Your also ideas. fine. What's it gonna be? <laughs> you. So we stun him out again. It's a full stun. Double damage. Man, that actually... That actually... I was just gonna say, that actually triggers quite a bit, and then it triggered twice in a row. Sorcery. Certainly doesn't feel like I am here to serve. 15%. Which is great. What's it gonna be? Uh, let's teleport back here, go for the backstab. See ya. Yes, it is. Very much so. Gain XP. Merlin. Garbage. We'll treasure this time. Garbage. What Definitely 100% garbage. Let's have a look. Okay, if that brother's not back here, there's got to be. Oh boy. Are any of you the brother? Calling all brothers. Felix the Merchant. Gotta be him. Gotta be. Man, that's unfortunate. Because these guys are all in front. They're gonna get slaughtered. Protect Felix the Merchant. Yeah, fair enough. Well, I'm not gonna wait. So he's not gonna do a thing. Sword or now, where do we wanna 
burn. Should probably burn the beast man. Hit these two. Or I can take them all. The red knight could come up and maybe knock this warg back into line. We could hit three, but awaiting your command. We need to be up two. Let me teleport in here. Surprise, guys! Don't freak out. We're all on the same team. This can't reach. Okay, then we'll try and just keep them busy. Let's uh, get the Taint Hog <laughs> to attack. We'll hold that. And then I'm gonna move up one more. We're gonna take this. So he's dead. That was the thing we were talking about before, maybe lining that up, but. And then we're gonna do something a bit different here. It's not that great. a little better, I think. All right. You reserve. I could be of some help, I suppose. Let's see how this goes. Love that. Good job. It's done. Dead. We got three wargs coming in. Hit that trap. Yeah, you would. Okay, now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Guys, guys. Uh, Do you, need any wise you know, words? you try. Try to tell them. Now I can burn again, hitting three. Middle warg dies. This guy starts burning now. Might as well just take it from here, because I'm not going to have a backstab, but we've got vulnerability and surprise. How low do we need this dude? 52 and 13, so 65? This will do it. This guy's dead, this guy's dead, this guy hits this guy. Warg. Lives but doesn't kill anyone. I can take Their them. tiny detection range is very nice as well. Uh, I might actually... I can't. Let me see if I can get an angle here. Nope. That's fine. And then let's actually uh, taunt this one gonna mess him up pretty good we'll do a little recuperate action I can hit this guy but then this dude becomes potential problem so I think I'll just hold the rest Good job. Make up your mind. You guys looking for for work? Okay, 
Okay, this guy's burning. I'm just gonna put everything into the wart. Look at that careful positioning. I have a stun? Yeah, sure I do. Vulnerability at four. Let's see if this improves it. <laughs> Six. He is full stunned. Let's go kick. He's dead. Oh, there's still one of these guys. Dang. <laughs> I thought they were all dead. Doesn't matter. Everybody's safe. Thank you. Thank you very much. Without you, I would be dead by now. You must be the brother of Seminus the traitor. Yes, I am. It must have been him who sent you. Thanks to the gods. So he is alive then. I'll never forget what you did. Run to the camp. The road is safe for now. There you go. I wonder if we should uh, return. Is it worth dying for? Rest if you must. Okay, so that's probably everything, but look at them running back there. I'm actually gonna just go double check and see if I hoped for something more. See if the guy says anything. Hello, it's me, your savior. Nobody says a word. No thank yous. Nothing. Slaughter them all. Just kidding. Let's go home. No promotions. Okay, let's check this out. <laughs> okay. 11 damage against burning units. 6 damage against Fomorians. Um... You can create a wall of flame that lasts for two turns on a random tile occupied by an enemy. But he can only do this after killing three units. The 11 damage versus burning is, is not quite as good as what he's got going on. Uh, Furious Sigil of Retort. Built-in reflection damage with 12 armor. 5% damage until the end of the encounter for each hit received. That could get out of control. Minus 4 damage from range. That's actually quite good. Oh my god, look at this. First aid. So, 7 vitality at the end of a mission. Fine. Damage received from Overwatch. Opportunity attacks reduced. Not bad. 5 damage for the first encounter after arrest. It's not bad, but it's got really good uh, stats. Gain an AP for the first kill each turn. Damage against Fomorians. Deep wounds gone. Reflection damage. Ignore incoming armor. Taunting guard for defenders. And armor. Okay. Sir Kay has returned, defeating the questing beast. Got his loyalty up. 40% XP and building resources. Cool. Look at this. So we've reached the top level of the tyrant tree. <sighs> or I guess the bottom. Depending on how you look at things. I need an old faith decision stat. Immunity to burning? Eh. Honestly, like... When do I ever get- when do we get burned? I, I don't even know if I've been on fire once. Black Knight regained vitality. Sir Ector leveled up from the jousting. Um, that's good. We probably put Gawain in there next. Our hero acquisition has really slowed down. Oh, Seminus, who I saved at the Beastmaster quest, has sent some gold along with a thankful letter. Thanks. <laughs> Dude, I even said, I was like, they don't even say thank you. That's hilarious. Okay. 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 Uh, the gathering is level 18. I have two 17s, which is fine, I guess. Um, 
I, I actually, okay. I don't want to get too excited, but I actually really like the double defender way more than having the champion in there. I really, that was, like, I, I, I felt almost unthreatened. Not to say that that's going to always be the case. The Blackthorn Council. Hidden Stronghold of Seraphim. Outlaws of Seraphim. Find out what happened to the Vagrants. Fomorians are there. And the Gathering. The are rallying around a we need knight to have Mordred. Who might be the last fragment of King Arthur's soul. Oh, the last fragment, eh? All right, so we'll go down here to the bad omens first. Outlaws have set up camp in the woods, stirring up trouble. But one day, what other defenders do I have? Vanished. I have quite but a few. Out one of my Does that mean I just am not using champions anymore? <laughs> but the foolish man Brick. didn't wait for his armed escort and rushed into the forest alone. Okay, we're gonna try it again because I I did like that. Get Percival out. Mordred in. I'm gonna keep Merlin rolling because he's I, 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 like he's unequivocal. Like nobody can nobody can defeat him. There's no one better. I'm sorry. And then Gawain. <laughs> he's leveling up after one mission anyway. So there's no reason to do the knights tournament. Uh, let's let's put him in there. Um, even she's gaining levels from like that passive XP gain that somebody gives. She's got two points here, but I mean, I don't see a reason that I'm gonna use her. Let's take encouragement. Then she's got that jumping attack, backstab, assassination, quick footed scout, and master assassin. That master assassin was pretty nice. Uh. Ector. Wall of Flame could be cool. I think we'll do Mindstorm next. That's what we were talking about, right? With him. <sighs> Seen how strong that is. But. I guess it depends how good Wall of Flame feels. We'll have to take him out at some point and... Uh, Experiment. New sides, new mains, that's cool. Uh, okay, so you're pretty close. Let's actually look here and we'll get a better idea. One level, one level, one level, one level. Okay, so we'll let all these guys get promotions and then we'll put Ector back in, I think. Um, but we'll take Percival on the next mission. Let me just cue that up. Have set up camp in the woods, stirring up trouble. Okay, so drop all your stuff. And then, oh yeah, this is the lightning one. So that's not as amazing, obviously, but it does give him the culling, which is kind of cool. So now for comparison's sake, here's the reflection one. Five damage to melee, but the other one applies poison. Um... Has a little bit more health, a little bit more armor. But you don't get the damage as a bonus on the next attack. You get 5% damage per hit received. And then you take less from ranged. That's actually, uh, that's a bit of a tougher call. This is, this is really tempting just for the pure raw armor. Like, it takes him up to 22 armor. This puts him at 18. I think I'm still going to roll with this for a bit. And then we'll give you... The Reflections. Which one was it? Here we go. So, all the reflection all the time. Take those two. We have two tombs of war. We have a tomb of experience. Half a level of XP. 
I don't know what the top levels are. Ooh, the Red Knight is... 20 now. Damn. 20, 19, 15. Come on, buddy. Can I not? I just need a relic for this. Speaking of, we should check our stuff. Two missions, two restock. Okay, these are new. Just gonna take a look for some comparison's sake. So it's the same damage. It ignores block values, but doesn't do armor pierce. Two AP for the first turn of each encounter, and six damage for one turn after using a movement skill. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna spend the gold on this. Um, I feel like the armor piercing is more valuable. One armor for every 10 HP regained from any source. Nah. If we had like a bunch of leeching or something, maybe that would be good. Two AP for the first turn of each encounter. Nah. What's this? Relic provision. So traps would ignore armor. Minus one AP cost for traps to a minimum of one. So that would really only benefit uh, Balin. But it would buff his number of traps pretty heavily. But that would replace the this here with the armor piercing. I don't think that's the buy. We're actually using traps less and less as we go. Okay, I'm also starting to wonder. So, like, if I were to buy this, increase the number of items after the next restock, I think this is permanent. Because if we look at the Enchanted Tower one here, like, you only buy this once, and then it's always there. These we've all seen. We're waiting for a new batch. Um, Caravan offers refresh more frequently. I think we take this now. As we get into this end game situation, uh, we're going to want to see what's... Like, we want these refreshing ASAP. Ideally, we get relics on everybody, right? But I just don't think that's going to be super possible. Ooh. Uh, wait, where did this come from? Jawbone of Morgard. Did we just... Where did this come from? It's for champions. <laughs> of course. Of course it's for champions only. After I say I'm no longer going to use champions. Eight damage for b melee basic attacks. Eight armor piercing. 100% of attack units block values. Ignored. That's freaking crazy, dude. First of all... I hate to say it, but I really want to see if I can make these guys more effective. I'll give you this. We can still, we can tank up pretty aggressively now. Oops. So, what I could do... Put this here. That gives him 13 armor. That actually does drop pretty heavily, hey? 17 versus 13 actually does matter. What if I just gave the Red Knight this one? It's the biggest armor set that we have. I don't know. I'm gonna keep that, and then uh, we will take we will take the Black Knight instead. I'll give him this one, just because I really want to see. I feel like his damage output now is just gonna be ridiculous if he can hit anything. I just have to not be so worried about his armor because he's gonna have a lot of it now. So we're going to find less gold here. That sucks, but not the end of the world. 
I normally wouldn't just do all these build outs with you guys. Set up camp in the woods, stirring up trouble. But one day they suddenly vanish. But um, sometimes when one of my mystics the mission's not mystic. two hours, it's, I kind of like to show you what I'm, what my thought process is. So I think that's, I think we're good. I think we're ready to go. I could definitely sell some stuff, but. 1300 should be good for any, like, in-mission random stuff that we find. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, guys. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.